Good morning. It is 4 a.m. on Tuesday, May 7th. My name is Mark Steinwittle, and I'm a meteorologist here with the National Weather Service in northern Indiana. I'd like to take just the next couple of minutes here to review a potential severe weather event that's going to take place this afternoon into early this evening. We'll start up here with the Severe Prediction Center Outlook, which has been upgraded here, or at least expanded. The enhanced risk, as you see here, has been expanded a little bit farther west to cover uh, most of our Indiana counties and most of our Ohio counties, with a slight risk still for lower Michigan. We're still expecting a few rounds of thunderstorms. Uh, round one comes through around midday, expecting that to come through sort of in a weakening phase with uh, severe weather not expected. But as we get beyond 2 o'clock and through the remainder of the afternoon into the early evening, additional rounds of thunderstorms will have the potential to become severe. With that main window within the 2 to 10 p.m. Eastern time, probably 4 to 8 when we have the highest probability of severe weather. All hazards are on the table here. Uh, large hail, damaging winds, even a few tornadoes are possible. And what you should do is take this time to make sure that you can receive warnings uh, severe thunderstorm warnings or tornado warnings in multiple ways, be that a NOAA weather radio or over your phone. So on this next slide, we're going to attempt to break down some of the hazards that are possible with the severe storms this afternoon into early this evening. Again, everything's on the ta table here from hail to damaging winds to tornadoes. The percentages here, which are generally 10 to 15 for all of them, is the probability of an occurrence within 25 miles of a point. In the hatched here area, which covers most of our area for hail, is an indication of large hail up to two inches in diameter. And in the hatched area for tornadoes indicates the potential for strong tornadoes. Just again, breaking down maybe a little bit closer here for the timeline of the thunderstorm potential here in the next couple days. Again, between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern time, that decaying line of showers and storms likely moves through most of the area. Again, severe weather not really expected with this first round. But in that 2 to 10 p.m. window, the time frame when we're concerned for scattered severe storms. Then we get this dry period in a break, mid-evening through most of the day tomorrow. And then there is uh, another round of showers and storms expected Wednesday night. And we'll go over that in the next slide. So the good news for the severe potential for Wednesday evening into the overnight on Wednesday night is that the chances for severe weather have diminished. We've gone down here to a marginal risk for most areas uh, along and south of US 30 here. An isolated threat for damaging winds and hail, maybe some localized heavy rain. All right, it's 4 a.m. again here on Tuesday morning, May 7th. Again, I'd like to thank you for joining me here for this briefing. Forecast information could change at a later time, so be sure to check back to our website, which is weather.gov forward slash IWX for the latest forecast information.